Hi, I'm Willie and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. So tonight what we're going to talk about is uh, yesterday, um, if you are in IT, you probably heard that there's a WPA um, protocol level um, vulnerability that it's, it was discovered a while ago, but yesterday it became public. A lot of vendors had the fix ready for it. Uh, but apparently Apple and Google are still working on it, uh, and it's called a crack. But it's, it's kind of, that's, that's kind of funny, right? But it starts with a K. So uh, looking at my Synology router, um, this thing is ready to have the, the software updated. And today is the 17th, so Synology had the update uh, available today and it fixes the vulnerabilities in WPA WPA2 protocol and all of the related CVEs are right here and they also fix some other things so we're gonna go ahead and and download that guy but uh, then another thing that I want to talk about let's actually talk about the unify side of this so for unify you need to be on 3.9.3.7537 now, unless you're on a 5.6 controller, this firmware is not automatically pushed. You can do a manual upgrade, and the only kind of prereq to that is that your access points are on currently on a 3.7 release. So if you can get your access points, if you're on the 5.5.24, which is the latest stable release, then make sure you're on the 3.7 release that is available. Then go over to the Unify blog, and I'll actually put this link down there, and choose the uh, proper firmware for your access points and do the custom upgrade. And actually let me log in to a controller, and I'll show you where that's at. Okay, so this is our cloud key, which I believe uh, there is actually an update available for this too. So... Um, we'll take a look at that while we're in here. And yeah, there's new cloud key firmware and cloud controller uh, available. So it'll take us to 5.5.24. But I just updated this on a 5.4 release. So what you have to do is you have to go into your access point and um, you would go into the manage device and you can do this with multiple APs. So you can do the group config, select all the APs if they can use the same firmware, and then come down here to the custom upgrade and paste. So this would be an in wall. So I'd find my my in wall, right? So here's my in wall firmware. So I would right click on this, copy link address. I would come back over here and I would paste this in. Now obviously this is offline, but then I would hit custom upgrade. And however many APs I had selected, would all go out and start downloading that new firmware and then we should be uh, good to go so we are still waiting for some manufacturers to release the patches believe it or not Microsoft uh, got ahead of the game and um, everything should have been released I think on last Tuesday maybe but that's that's all you need to do and you'll, you know, your Unify stuff will be up to date. There are some Air Max releases out there. You can take a look at that. As the lab here starts having more Air Max, we will get into that. The last thing that I um, wanted to show you was that there is also an Edge Max Edge Router 1.9.7 Hotfix 4 available. And if we look, they fixed all of the PPPOE problems. So this this is people were continuing to have PPPOE problems and those problems appear to be fixed now. So if you're running uh, where I was running into the problem was I had a, a client with load balancing or actually one this client was a failover and on 1.9.7 hotfix 2 after the main internet connection would go down and PPPoE connection would would take over then when the main internet connection came back up then it wouldn't fail back over so 1.9.7 hotfix 4 is supposed to address those so if you need those and you should probably go ahead and upgrade because they actually uh, upgraded DNS mask 
to get rid of some security problems with DNS masks. So if you've got an edge router, you know, uh, make sure you make a backup, then upgrade to 1.9.7 Hotfix 4. Make sure that you upgrade uh, your Unify access points. You don't have to upgrade the actual Unify controller. You should, especially if they've done security updates. Um, I did not do a 5.5.24 video, um, but I am going to go ahead and update my cloud key now. I will actually probably just up, upgrade the cloud key firmware itself, and that'll um, likely upgrade my Unify version. So that's it. You know, this has been, uh, you know, everybody's been talking about how, um, you know, we have this, this problem, the, the crack problem with uh, WPA2. So make sure that you're reading the release notes and you're looking at all the security releases and everything that's coming out over the next few days uh, for your vendors and get everything updated and you should be good. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links down in the description. They don't change your price, but they kick a few bucks to the channel to keep the hardware rolling in. And we'll see you in the next video.